Insignia 2009 and today we're gonna change the air filter on this car. Uh, now to get to the air filter first we need to open the bonnet and to open the bonnet we need to get here. So uh, to open the bonnet you just put in this one and that's all. New filter, filter housing, and we're gonna need a uh, Torx to open it. Let me double check what size it's going to be. So yeah, I checked it and it's gonna, gonna be a T25 for this housing. Yeah, it's also handy to remove this sensor, so to remove it you need to pull this one and just Wiggle a little bit, and it's supposed to. I may gonna need two hands. Oh, ah, that's it. Yeah, to remove those clips, I just literally use a screwdriver and it pop off. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it with one hand, but literally, here you've got your filter, so all you need to do is just lift it up. Oh, my days, I think it, I may kill some pigeon. And the filter is out. It's not in that bad state, but well, since I decide to put the new one, I will do it right now. Yeah, actually, when you're gonna compare it to the new one, yeah, it's look horrible. <laughs> oh, I think it's also worth to also look into the housing and see if there is any dirt. So, if there is like any leaves or anything, you can just hoover it, clean it up. And if not, just put a new filter back on and that's all. Now is the part which one I'm always finding too difficult is to put those clips back together. But I think before I'm gonna do it, I get first I'm gonna put the screws back and then I'm gonna try to clip it back on the place. I think that's gonna be m way easier than directly try to put the clips back on. Yeah, actually, as I said, when I put this screw and this screw, the clips they went into the place by themselves without any help literally so I think that's as a hand trick yeah when you got all the screws back together just don't forget about your sensor so the sensor as you take took it off just push it back into the place and don't forget about this plastic to push it as well I think that's locking the sensor in place so yeah that was the insignia uh, 2009 and how to replace the air filter uh, well I think that was the easiest way that I showed you about how to replace it because literally what you're doing is just removing the screws removing the sensor lift the housing slightly remove the filter check the housing if there is any dirt if there is just use the hoover hoover it up or clean it up and then put the new filter back on close the housing put the sensor back and that's it and that that's all literally there is nothing difficult and all what you need is literally a flat screwdriver to remove the housing because it's it's quite tight to be honest and the torx 25 yeah hopefully someone's gonna find this video helpful and i'm going home because it's, it's it's raining and it's miserable and i think i need a cup of tea isn't it so yeah see you at the next video guys